this is another story about a ladybug. What the ladybug heard at the zoo. One fine day when the sun shone down, the ladybug took a trip to town. She flew around and she saw the sights, the streets and the shops and the bright, bright lights. She saw the parks and the palace too. Then off she flew to visit the zoo. Well, she's been busy visiting the city. The crocodile snapped and the tiger growled. The lion roared and the monkeys howled. Ooh, 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 ooh. The elephant trumpeted, crump. Frump, frump. A hump, said the camel with the great big hump. The hyena laughed. <laughs> the hummingbird whirred. <laughs> but the ladybug never said a word. What the ladybug saw and the ladybug heard all these things at the zoo. She saw two men she already knew. They were Lanky Len and Hefty Hugh. And she heard them chuckle. Ho, ho, ho. We're going to kidnap Monkey Joe. They look like bad men. She already heard them say they're going to kidnap Monkey Joe. I wonder what she's going to do. We'll hide till there's no one else about. Then we'll pick the lock and we'll get Joe out. And if we give him lots of fruit, he'll do the job and he'll get the loot. The palace isn't far at all. Monkey Joe can scale the wall. They're trying to get the monkey to steal things for him. They're not very nice. He'll find out where the queen's asleep. Then tiptoe into her room, he'll creep. He'll open the sack and steal the crown. We'll soon be the richest men in town. They're not very nice. The queen's sleeping with her crown on. The little ladybug spread the word about the plan that she'd overheard. And the crocodile snapped and the tiger growled. And the lion roared, and the monkeys howled. <laughs> and the elephant trumpeted, trump, trump, trump. Hump, said the camel with the biggest big hump. The hyena cried. <laughs> and the hummingbird whirred. <laughs> and all of the animals, feathered and furred, said, no, 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 no. We can't let them kidnap Monkey Joe. They're all trying to decide what to do. What's a little tiny ladybug going to do to help? She's not very big. But the ladybug told them not to fear, and she whispered a plan in the monkey's ear. She's telling him something. The other animals are so much bigger. I don't know what she thinks she's going to do. Then fast as the wind, fast as a bird, she flew to the palace and had a word with the queen, with the queen's two corgis, Willow and Holly. And one said, gosh, and the other said, golly. She's talking to these little puppies here. Oh, here they are. They're cute. And both the dogs agreed to do just what the ladybug told them to. She's getting the dogs to help. There's the robbers. They're not very nice. Oh, they've got all this fruit. And they think if they give Monkey Joe all this fruit to eat, that he'll do what they want. And maybe he will, because he doesn't know any better. He just knows he likes fruit. Let's see what happens. 
At dead of night, the two bad men, Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len, checked there was no one else about. Then they picked the lock and they got Joe out. They carried him off to the palace gate, gave him a sack, then lay in wait. They watched him scale the palace wall, and they muttered, Careful not to fall. He's climbing up that wall. There he goes. Wow. He's way up there. And they're down there waiting. And they rubbed their hands as they saw him creeping into the room where the queen lay sleeping. They're thinking, oh, he's going to go get the crown. We're going to be rich. <sighs> Corgi Holly and Corgi Willow, who lay on each side of the queen's soft pillow, were wide awake, and they said to Joe, Come on, monkey, off we go. They're protecting the queen and the crown. Let's see what happens now. They led the way while the queen still slept. And they showed young Joe where their bones were kept. Then they helped the monkey fill the sack. And they wagged their tails as he carried it back. <laughs> the dogs were helping the monkey put all these bones in the sack. And the robbers are going to think they got something really good. The two thieves yelled, hip, hip, hooray, but now let's make our getaway. They carried the sack to a nice quiet park where the only sound was a distant bark. They found a bench and both sat down and Hugh said, time to see that crown. I just can't wait, said Lanky Len. They opened up the sack, but then... I think they're going to be surprised. They're not going to find the crown. You should have heard their moans and groans. To find the sack was full of bones. And then a dog came bounding up. And Hugh said, Shoo, you greedy pup. Another dog was close behind. And then came dogs of every kind. Oh, the dogs see the bones. And they're going to chase the bad men away. <laughs> a poodle and a Labrador. A peak, a pug, then more and more. Black dogs, white dogs, gray and brown. It seemed like every dog in town. They seized the bones and gnashed and gnawed. Tugged and tussled, pawed and clawed then turned upon the, ri the robbers yelping. How about a second helping? Till the dogs are chasing the bad men away. That's cute. The thieves took off with leaps and bounds, pursued by all the hungry hounds, while the monkey ran and the ladybug flew with never a stop till they reached the zoo. Then the crocodile grinned, and the tiger pranced. The lion leaped, and the monkeys danced. The elephant trumped, trumpeted, trump, trump, trump. Hooray, said the camel with the great big hum. The hyena laughed, <laughs> and the hummingbird whirred. But the ladybug never said a word. That was a really cute story.